kids regularly, um, daily pretty much. Dylan beat the fuck out of me. I went in front of a Judge Harrison. I have it all on camera. Um, and I was denied an order of protection. When I got denied, even with the video proving that he was beating me, he went and they gave him an OP for bullshit. He showed up back at my apartment and I was asked to leave. That's literally what happened. It's all documented very, very well. I was with my children. I've always had custody of my children their entire lives prior to this incident. Their entire lives. All three of them. Thank you so much. No, we, I lost, okay, we had our apartment. After filming the show, we were together for like six months after that. He, we lived in the same place. My kids had a room, I had a room, he had a, well, we shared a room, obviously we were together. Um, the 2037 West Roscoe. I called the police like multiple times because he was beating me and not letting me leave. He locked me in a room with a padlock. I wanted to leave, I was trying to leave. He disconnected the starter in my car, like all types of shit. And then I wanted my money because we were selling renewable energy together. So I wanted my half of the money so that I could go get an apartment myself. And he refused to give it to me. He kept it all. He let Marissa keep all my clothes, makeup, everything. Do you guys not understand? They robbed me and threw me in the street. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. I know. I know he's a liar. We lived together for half of a year after that fight in the car. Yes. I mean, is anything I said just now, do you not understand it? Because it's all provable. Go to my other Instagram, one Heather G. Scroll down, you could literally see a play-by-play. -play. Every time I called the police, every everything, all the proof that I kept. When he would do some heinous shit, I would write it down and put it on the floor on a piece of paper. And then I would record videos of all the fucking lists of heinous shit. So, listen... I did literally nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing, not a single thing, nothing. Thank you. Oh, asexual, I don't like sex. That's it, I just don't like sex. I was an escort, I was charging $500 an hour to go on dinner dates with men, to go have dinner, $500 for dinner. That pisses off people who don't make that much money. And so all they do is sit around talking about how ugly I am and what a bitch I am and how terrible I am and all this stuff and harass me nonstop, nonstop. And then they call the police and make phony allegations. I was raped by Courtney Brandon Bell. Uh, I also went to the police to report the rape numerous times. I had about four or five copies of police reports that I filed no one ever comes to help, ever. Um, they just continue to ignore me and everything that I've said to them. Rather than taking the report seriously, I gave them the panties for the rape kit. And, and they did nothing. They did nothing. I don't know. This was two years ago when I was working as an escort and I got raped and I was not okay. And then I fell down into this dark depressive hole and I like hated Dylan. I took it all out on Dylan. He was in prison still. I've been telling the same story for literally the entire time. I'm an honest person. I don't need to lie. I've told you everything that's gone on with me. That's all that I know. I'm not a criminal. I don't get in trouble. When I was escorting, I got fucking raped bogusly. I got tied up by my hands and my ankles, cut open with an exacto knife, Caught open on my head. Lots of fucked up shit happened and it really made me not okay. Since then, I've worked through my trauma. I go to the gym daily, as I've said before. I don't do drugs. I rarely go out. Like, 
I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. I'm just saying I don't do anything wrong to deserve what you people have done to me. And the fact that you guys can go home every night and lay your heads down on your pillow and not even give a fuck that you literally look at what you did. Like, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. You guys did. I don't take Adderall anymore. No, it's not. Being an escort isn't criminal. It's not illegal to charge for time. It's only illegal to exchange sex for money, which I never did. That's a prostitute. So if someone says, I'll give you $100 for a blowjob, that's illegal. It's not illegal for someone to say, I'll give you $500 to go out on a date with you. When would I be willing? So... It's funny to me that you guys continue to attempt to discredit my story, my experience, my narrative, everything that's going on, and the abuses that you are responsible for by labeling me as having a mental issue. I don't have a mental issue. There are deliberate actions that have been taken to torment me. I have a response to those actions. Sometimes I get confused. It's not because I'm crazy. It's because there are people working very hard day in and day out to discredit my experience. Yeah, look at the accounts that are leaving these. And I'm screen recording all these comments, by the way, so that we could trace this back. Look at all the, the people who comment about mental health and like the abusive comments that they leave. They need help. They are very sad, neglected people who have been abused as well. They're, I don't know, I don't want to say they're jealous of me because, I mean, look at my situation. There's, like, I'm homeless. Like, what are you jealous about? But they're really mean and nasty. So they, you guys, who are awful, and like, rude and say these terrible things, you really, really, really do need help. And if you want to be friends with me, I'll still be friends with you. Like, I'm a nice girl. I don't want anyone to be hurting. The fact that, like, you're so sad that you could see me down and out and you still come to my page to harass me and do the same in real life, that's awful. Like, that that tells me so much about the pain you're going through. Like, are you okay, dude? I shouldn't be homeless. You're absolutely right. I, you're right. I should not be. You're 100% correct. I am such a good, like, I'm a nice girl. I work my ass off. I know how to communicate with people. I've been applying to so many jobs I'm overqualified for. You know, I, um, that's it. Please um, start, do me a huge favor. You don't know my life. You don't know what I've done for my own psychiatric wellness. I'm dedicated to my own wellness, mind, body, and soul. I work out. I also do my own form of therapy that you don't need to know about. So listen to the validity and the things I'm saying right now on this live, as opposed to continuing to attempt to discredit me by armorizing, weaponizing, and demonizing mental health. You're doing society a severe injustice by continuing to make those comments on my feed. Just knock it off. It's not welcome here, seriously. Take responsibility for what you've done. You have taken my home. You have taken my family. You have made multiple mistakes, multiple mistakes in my case, in my care, and in the management of everything you've been doing. I highly suggest you get your head out of your ass and you apologize to me, Heather, not Marissa, Heather, for everything you've done. Meanwhile, Marissa's out here committing fraud and doing the most with Dylan, and they continue to try to blame me. I'm Heather. I'm Heather. I don't know what Mar Marissa and Dylan do. All the allegations you're making against her that you think it's me, it's not me. I'm Heather. Marissa's with Dylan. Deal with them. Stay away from me. I'm completely independent of that situation. Have nothing to do with it have not had anything to do with it for two years. Back the fuck up off me. Please and thank you.
Do you think that just because some people don't have a large family support system that they're crazy? You've never met someone who doesn't have family before? Unfortunately, because a lot of the systemic things that we have in place or had in place, they're meant to terrorize people who don't have family. They're meant to victimize people who don't have family. Because when you don't have family and you don't have someone to uh, validate your experience, to say, yes, this is happening, you're an easier target to be exploited and taken advantage of. And crazy is the label they put on people who see through their bullshit. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Mrs. Smith. It's my secret agent name. Hmm. How about you guys see the Angelina Jolie foot show? 007, Mrs. Smith. That's me. Into housing. You are very pretty. Thank you so much. And then, oh, you married to Dylan? You're hotter than her. I'm 34 years old. I've had all of my product stolen from me, all of my makeup stolen from me. I've been on two hours of sleep a night. I would, I would definitely like to say, yes, I am hotter than her. Have you seen her in person? <laughs> it's treacherous. Marissa, I'm talking about. That's like the girl that she has been posting, like, she doesn't even look like Marissa. Marissa doesn't even look like that. The bone structure, her, the way her eyes sit back in her head, like, I know Marissa. And I'm not here to bash Marissa at all in any way, shape, or form. Also, my abs are about to pop through. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So excited. What? How do you eat? Thanks, babe. Um... Well, I usually have either like a link card or I do these random little jobs and make money um, or the angels pay. There are multiple investors who have been following around. Um, they wanted to make a movie. They wanted to do, there's like a list of shit of reasons why they were donating. I have nothing to do with that. I didn't set that up. I don't talk to them directly because I have to stay in character. Um, but I told them yesterday, I'm done. Like, I fuck you guys. Stop fucking exploiting my situation and my trauma to put me back in character. Like, that's ridiculous. That's what they do. They bring people to stir, to re-stir up the pain that Dylan caused me so that I could start, like, freaking out again. And then once I freak out, they call the police and say that I'm crazy. Literally, that's what they do over and over and over. Oh my God, no, I'm just literally, I'm no, they know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to answer those. So if you guys are asking questions that are exploitative, I'm literally just ignoring you. What are you confused about? If you've been following the story, it's very simple. My life is like a TV show. I've gone over all of this over and over and over and over and over and over, leaving out no details for the past two years. There are people who have invested so that I have to stay in character. No, I don't exploit my trauma. Do you know what that means, exploiting my trauma? So it's basically, I have healed my PTSD and I'm good, I'm stable. I'm sitting in Starbucks, minding my own business, applying for jobs. They bring in a person who was listening to my phone calls with Dylan and they make that person use information that I've only shared with him over the phone while I was reporting my rapes, my abuses, my being followed, stalked, harassed, slandered, robbed, and they did nothing. And they start saying that information. So I'm sitting there minding my own business. They, protect, they walk in, stand by me, and start talking about my personal business that only Dylan knows, that I've only shared with Dylan. In a way, that makes me remember it, I start crying and get upset like fuck. That is about to die. So I'm not gonna explain anymore, but whatever. You guys know what's going on. Um, an alligator wearing a vest. This is Lacoste. What are you talking about? 
This is a look. What are you talking about? An alligator? Like, read these comments. I'm screenshotting all these comments. I'm taking video of all these comments. These people in the comments are literally evil. They need help. Someone should definitely go um, and deal with them. <laughs> Don't ask me any questions about my aunt. Don't ask me any questions about my family. Um, it's none of your fucking business. If they wanted to share their life, they'd be on social media. No one's asking you to keep up with my life. They're not stories, it's my life. And I share it with some people who like to know because they care. And everyone else, I don't owe you shit. You owe me my money. <laughs> Give me my apartment. Give me back my life. And everything's all right. <laughs> I know about all the investors. That's why I went to Tim's house the other day because I don't want, like, them begging people to help me like i want my friends to help me like it's fucking painful like what the fuck we had a great relationship for so long and he's not the only one like there's a lot of them really good friends of mine who like they're just disappeared like it hurts me like where the fuck are you guys like whatever Ugh, this is what i mean when i have to start like talking about it I just hate it. I feel like all of them should have opened their doors to me. That's just how I feel. They've all been watching from the sidelines. They know what's up. All of them. There were over 300. Dylan stole my email list. He has it. Two years and counting. I used all the money I had. I had like 30,000. I used it all on Airbnbs and hotels. And I have nothing left. And then I do like little random odd jobs and little missions, I call them, for small amounts of money. I've been sharing all of this. It's, nothing has changed. You have no idea. <laughs> It's not as pain for my family, like my kids. I miss them. I don't want anyone to take care of me. I want to work. And I can work. Hello. Hello. Because why can't I find a real job? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm sick of it. It's not baby. It's fine. Um, I don't know. I've been applying to jobs. I have it all on record. I have emails. I have everything. Emails. Um, videos, photos, everything. I gotta go. It doesn't matter. Yes, exactly. I have a job interview tomorrow. I'm so excited for it. Hopefully I'll get it. I'm very, very, very excited. Okay. Oh, and it's easier for me to articulate when I've slept. I've been sleeping all day. Granted, I am sleeping outdoors. Hi. Um, and it is very scary, and I've never had to do this before. It's terrifying. <laughs> I have my...